After a scene of rioting and civil disobedience within the streets of Baltimore, on the night of April 27, 2015, Maryland Governor Larry Hogan issued a state of emergency and activated the Maryland National Guard. Well, I guess it's one of those things you, you never expect it will happen, but when it, when it did happen, the thing that I was most proud of is, is the great leadership we have from the top to the bottom, because I think that morale is indicative of the kind of NCOs we have. Lock those shields. My name is Staff Sergeant Donald Davis. I'm uh, with Bravo Company 1st 175th Infantry, Platoon Sergeant of 2nd Platoon. My role in the riot control training is to ensure that any deficiencies or any uh, additional training that we provide to the soldier prior to actually going out and doing it in the real world is to give them the uh, most realistic training so they know somewhat what to expect once they get out on ground. Over 3,000 National Guardsmen from all over the state of Maryland assisted Baltimore City's law enforcement to restore order and peace in the Baltimore community. It's amazing when you walk and talk to the soldiers, they're standing side by side with police officers from agencies all over the place. And this is a big team effort, uh, bigger than, than something I would have ever expected. But there is no division, it's all one team. And it just gives me great pride to see the high morale among these soldiers. I kind of followed in my family's footsteps and went into the military. Right now I'm in uh, Prince George's County Police Department Academy. This is going to be a, a lot of experience right here. So I'm getting a lot of, you know, field activity by being out here. I'm learning a lot of things, how to just do from the riot training to the, from our ass baton training to just having riot formations. All these stuff is going to help me longer in my, you know, law enforcement field. The Maryland Guard is really made up of, of individuals that, that live in their community. So these soldiers, you know, left their homes, left their loved ones behind to take this mission, and they're doing it. And when the mission's over, they're going to go back home. They're going to go back to their families and jobs and move on with life. And that's the power of the Guard, is that we are part of the community. Many of the soldiers will go right back to Baltimore City, which is right here where we're standing right now. It's where I work every day. Well, it makes me feel proud that, you know, I'm able to be part of the National Guard and just being in this uniform, you know, you're not representing yourself, but you're representing, you know, everybody that's in the military. Reporting from the Maryland National Guard's Public Affairs Office, I'm Staff Sergeant Michael Davis, Jr.